Y'all, it sounded like somebody going to jail. But who exactly is going to jail? Y'all want to know what I'm talking about? Let's get into it. Let me. I, we, I, 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 there's no better way to talk about this than to just get into the song. Who going to jail? Who going to jail? Who going to jail? And it's the way this, it's the way this young lady right here has turned to the camera pacifically. And yes, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. Don't don't I know all the grammar police. Don't try it with me. Okay, my degree is in mass communication journalism, graduate degree in advertising management, public relations. Don't try to play it. So when I say specifically, I'm just playing. Okay. So anyway, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Who is going to jail? Now, does this relate back to what Melody was talking about the other day? Now, y'all know I be, I'm really surface level with Love and Marriage Huntsville in terms of what I see on the show, what I see directly on the social media. But, you know, if you dig down into the nooks and the crannies, you will find out so much more, right? So huge shout out to all of the pages that are really dedicated to the Love and Marriage Huntsville franchise. Because let me tell you something, y'all be y'all 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 keep us informed, baby. But this was something I felt like people was tagging me or sending it to me last night, and I was like, "Who going to jail? Who going to jail? Who going to jail? Who going to jail?" So Melody says this. Oh, so you want to get low? Bet okay. Now, she says, Love and Marriage Huntsville, Melody Sheree, just getting started, been quiet, while bullied, lied on, talked about, posted about, ain't gonna let up, period. Talked about, mistreated, lied on, cheated, talked about, mistreated. Um, Y'all know, I start my day listening to the Gospels. Anyway, <laughs> then I come over here and tell y'all the tea. <laughs> oh lord forgive me today so anyway melody says in the comments i'm gonna say this one time if you super sensitive and don't want to be blocked this week move around if you're over opinionated move around this week i promise you'll make the block list don't come over here about no what about the kids and you shouldn't joke about this where was that energy when this was being distributed? So miss me, at least for this week or two. And yes, I'm glad I haven't done some things I could have to land me in jail when I kept being tried and tested. Likely she's referring to, you know, um, <laughs> her, you know, uh, letting the people know that she'll put pause on somebody. Because I did see people in the comments, you know, it was like, well, Melody, no. You know, keep your queen, you know, um, crown on. Queens don't move like that. Queen, 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 queen. Listen, my brothers and sisters, let me let y'all know something. Your actions, okay, um, they don't always, they don't determine who you who you are in, in its entirety, okay? Um, so I, I prefer to look at us as all kings and queens. In our own right, but sometimes we don't. We may not. We may not act the part. Let me say that. That's probably a better way to say. It. We may not all act the part of 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 the royalty that we are all descendants of. Okay. But I do understand sometimes that after you didn't try to take the high road, you know, um, sometimes in life. And I, I don't want you all to ever get to this point. Don't want even Melody to have to get to this point or nobody else for that matter. But it feels like sometimes when people be trying you, um, you got to meet them where they at. You know what I'm saying? I don't advise it. I advise you to always call the law. <laughs> and perhaps that is why someone is going to jail. Now, does this relate to the uh, revenge tape? That we're talk that was being talked about. Does this relate back to the argumentation that had been going on with you know Melody and Arion over the internet airwaves um, that we talked about yesterday? Y'all let me know in the chat because sometimes a lot of y'all you know will have been following this story in depth, deeply, 
And, you know, I'm high level on this one. So if you are in the weeds, and I mean that in a good way, comment down below and let us know. Give us clarity and clarification on who going to jail. Who going to jail? Because I want to know. Because I need, I mean, you know, I'm just, uh, listen, I got to travel and, I, and, I, and I'm sorry, I might miss some things, okay? This is my birthday month for, for those of y'all who don't know. So if, if, it's, if I miss a couple of things, charge it to the game. <laughs> charge it to my birthday gang baby charge it to my birthday gang because listen july 16th baby it's up and it's stuck okay actually all month it's up and it's stuck. i'm i'm up now okay i'm up now so anyway um we got some more to talk about y'all know i'll be digressing more than a mother but honestly i gotta tell y'all something when i be when i be doing these videos i'll be talking to y'all i honestly y'all i'll be talking to y'all like like I'm on the phone with, with a friend of mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was a friend of mine. Okay. Um, You know what I'm saying? That's how I have grown in this platform. That's how it feels to me, right? So y'all my friends. So let's, let's talk. All right. So anyway, let's get into it some more. Except for the people that be new. You know what I'm saying? If you new and you, and you, and you, and you getting acclimated, welcome to the, to the gang gang, you know, to the squad, to the sky squad. Um, but sometimes new people don't get how we move in this in this space. And so I just want to get you acclimated. I'll digress. I'm going to give you story. We're going to talk production. We're going to do a little bit of all of it. So if you're expecting a drive-by, you know, that's not me. I'm sorry. You know, I got to do what 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 resonates with my spirits. Okay. And if it does not resonate with your spirits. Then get in, then get in line, baby. Get in line. So let's talk about Nene Leaks. All right. Shout out to our friends over at uh, the neighborhood talk. I think um this also came from TMZ. Now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we got a couple of things to talk about. Okay, so Nene Leaks, y'all know how the people, I feel like she might have been at, I don't know what she was. She was out and about in the PAPS, okay? The PAPS, as they call them was was down to the wherever she was and she walking along just strolling with a homie rolling with the homies if you know what movie that's from we best friends if you know what movie that's from chime down in the chatter is a rolling with the homies um so she's rolling with a homie right and so the TMZ person comes up, or the PAP, they come up and say, and I hope I'm not being disrespectful by, by saying the PAPs, but that's what they say over in the British. So um, the PAPs, they stopped them, and they said, hey, you know, we see Kim Zosiak is, you know, making some small cameos at the Val party. Same movie reference. Anyway, making some appearances at the um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Do you think that, you know, Atlanta needs Kim and Nene, that Kim and Nene energy back? Nene said, check the ratings. Okay, check the ratings. I'll say that. Check those ratings. And she said, I'd come back for the fans. So you know what I said? All right, let's check those ratings. Shall we? I think we shall. Okay. I mean, you know, ain't nothing better than a little show and tell. Ain't nothing. A little show and tell. A little kiss and tell. Okay, hold on for a second. This is this. This is scam likely calling me. Hello, please do not call me no more. Scam likely. See? Scam likely. So anyway, um, back to what I was saying. I hate when I get that mess. So, all right. The ratings for this past week. Now, we did know that it was also BET weekend. All right. So TV Deets, who always has the ratings, always follow them, always got the T. OK. So the ratings was that weekend, the last weekend it was on because it wasn't on this past weekend. Um, was seven hundred and twenty one thousand viewers. Now, if we can go back just a just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. So the week before, it was about 794,000, right? <clears throat> All right. Now, 
to put this into context, what I did also too was to go back and gather some intel on the ratings for the last season that Nene was on, which was season 12, all right? So according to realityt.com, season 12 averaged 1.8 million viewers. Season 13, which was really kind of around the, the height of the pandemic, um, was about 1.25 million per episode. Season 14 averaged 950,000. And I think it's important to note that season 14 also was missing Portia as well. So does Nene have a point to when she says check those ratings? I think that's a very good question. I mean, you know, if she says she would come back for the fans, I mean, she's speaking in numbers, okay? So that's, an, you know, but to be fair, a lot of reality television has been going down in the ratings in general, likely due to what we would also have to note as, you know, traditional scripted shows becoming a lot better over the past couple of years. I mean, especially for Sunday nights. I've told you before, Sunday nights has been appointment television. That's what they call it. When you have people who sit down and they specifically, specifically want to watch these shows on HBO, like The Succession, the um, the, 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 the Game of Thrones spinoff um, that was coming on. Um, it, heck, even The Idol, as controversial as that was, HBO has been doing the doggone thing on Sunday nights. In addition to those TLC shows, those fiancés, lock, lock up and loves and, and things like that, that I, listen, I have tried to gain interest in those shows. They just don't suit my spirits. But those shows are huge juggernaut shows, and people love those shows, okay? 90 Day Fiancé, uh, 90 Day Fiancé in the, in the Bahamas or whatever they be doing. I don't know. They're doing something good over there, okay? Um, I think it's the TLC. So um, anyway, let's get back to what else What else Nene was saying. Nene also said, because the you know the comments are said, well, hey, Nene, you know, I it, it, it didn't even seem right that they put you in, that they didn't put you in them, them credits, those opening credits that, that week that um, they did that little flashback to the opening credits from season three, four. And so Nene was like, <laughs> I mean, I think it was a little bit of a reverse psychology there. You know what I'm saying? Hoping that people would turn in next week. And so the person was like, well, you know, do you think it was, you know, why would production do that? And Nene said, I don't think it was production. Pro production just does what they what they are told to do. This was coming from somebody at the top. And basically she says that she doesn't feel like it was a good look. OK, um, Nene always got a word for y'all. Let me tell you that. But that's the other thing about Nene that I feel like is missing from the reality TV space, whether it be Nene or not. There's just not a lot of people. I mean, outside of right now, I think whether y'all like her or not, Candy. OK. Um, who else is is really. Again, Jocelyn. I'm talking about people that's making headlines. When they say stuff, I mean that's the that's that, that's that's the real right now. Kim Zosiak, obviously, because Kim Zosiak keeps saying stuff to nine one one. Okay, um, so every time she says something to nine one one, we we hear about it. So y'all might want to bring Kim back asapidly, okay, in a large capacity. All right, for season sixteen, um, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, if you bring Kim and Portia. At least then I feel like we might have, okay, now we can shake some things up a bit, right? But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Um, I'm going to also say this. I also see, I want to acknowledge my boy House of Aaron on his interview with the Sonya 
Richie Rossi. Okay. And I think Sonia, like Drew, if we continue to perhaps give her an opportunity to start vocalizing herself in the way that she need to, she let's give her another season. Okay. Want to give a shout out to my boy House of Aaron for that interview. Okay. Um, I had not had a chance to do so. I had seen it. Um, and you know, that's that's like that's like Lil Bro. So I want to just give him a shout out for that too. Because um, when people get the interviews and they get the people talking, that's a that's good right there. That's good for Sonya because it puts her in the news. Okay. So with that being said, um, that's all I got to say for right now. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below, and I will holler at y'all in the next video. And we got to talk about how the world, it's, it's really Spice's world, okay? Um, so be on the lookout for that next video.